Hello fashion sewers. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a patch pocket. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have a patch pocket and what a patch pocket is, it is a pocket that is applied onto the garment on different areas of garments. You can find them on the front of shirts, on the back of jeans, on coats. So on a variety of garments you can find patch pockets. You have your garment here and what I'm going to show you how to do is to stitch your patch pocket into place. Here I have my pocket, it's going to be a square pocket, they can come in different shapes. I've notched where the fold line is going to go for the facing, this is going to be the self facing but the first thing we need to do is the raw edge at the top of the pocket, we need to press that down and you can also stitch it and that's roughly about six millimeters and then the next stage will be to fold to the crease line or the fold line I should say of the pocket and then press that into place and then it will be a case of pressing all the other three edges and once you've done that you'll end up with something like this Still working on the wrong side of your pocket we need to make these corners really nice and neat and the best way to do that is to um, use a technique where you actually mitre the corners but you'd be using your iron so open it out find the point at which all the uh, crease lines meet fold this corner down and then you fold those in I'll show you on this one well so now that point there is going to be folded in to that angle and then you're going to match that crease line with the crease line of this edge and do the same, match the tiny corner there crease line with the crease line of the bottom part of the pocket and you'll end up with a nice finished corner like that. Now once you've actually done the corners, the next stage you need to do is to hide the raw edges at the facing part of the pocket, the top part of the pocket. And the best way to do that is to just unravel what you've just done with your iron and then place your facing onto the right side of the pocket, fold along the crease line like so and then make sure it matches up the fold of the actual facing to the crease line of the side of the pocket and then you'll sew from that point to there or that point down. So you'll end up with your pocket looking like that. You've done both edges. Now I've now sewn my facing securely to the pocket and then I'm going to turn that through like so, making sure those points come out nice and neat. That's the wrong side and now the pocket is now prepared and it's now ready to be put onto the garment. The pocket is now pinned into place and I'm going to start stitching from the edge. You can just tell by the feel of the facing and I'm going to come up here a short distance then across then down and all the way around. I'm now working on the right side of the garment and uh, you need to make sure that your pocket is upside down because you're going to start your first stitching line on the edge or where you can actually feel the facing and you're going to be roughly about six millimeters away from the edge of the pocket. You can just judge it more or less as well if you like by the width of your foot. Now it's best doing it this way because if you started here and went all the way around your pocket it can be a little bit unstable and doing it this way makes it a little bit more stable. You can also do it by starting at a different point in the pocket if you wish if you wanted to have a bit more of a decorative feel to your pocket. So I'm going to do an edge stitch so I'm going to get quite close to the edge not too close. Uh -oh. Needle down, 
and it's come all the way around. So remember we're doing an edge stitch here. Pull your pins as you go out. Just go along and then continue all the way down right until the edge of your pocket. Okay, I've gone a little bit too far there. So press the foot up, needle down, pull that, and then turn, pivot your work all the way around, and then you're going to do edge stitching all the way around it again. And I'll continue doing that and I'll show you what it looks like once I've done. Here we have the patch pocket completed. And what I've actually done, when I've gone all the way around, I've given an option here. So you could have actually started the way I had done to begin with and I've ended up doing it a little bit different on the opposite side and it is really all about choice because you can actually start here and you know it's all about your sewing project that you're actually doing and also what I've done here is I've gone quite close to the edge of the pocket the edge stitching and I haven't so much on this side so as you can see there is a choice of how close you want to get and also the effect that you want to achieve with your sewing project. So that is how you do a patch pocket. And also, before I go, let me just mention, you could have actually top stitched this as well. And as I said, it really is about um, personal choice. And if you were going to do that, you pat, you'd actually top stitch this along the facing before you actually apply your pocket to your garment. Well, I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. Patch pockets can come in many different shapes and you can put them on different parts of a garment. It's all about preparing your pocket before you actually put it onto the garment. And how you wish to actually stitch your pocket on, it's all a matter of choice and your sewing project. If you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next.